bit of a show. You're watching it backwards. Something they said he could never do Yes, he's a France-bound clown With a hammer on the ground Look out, Frenchy Scrambler's coming through He's got one hand on the throttle Farm And another hand on the brake yeah. And another hand on the pills that help you stay awake He's driving across them white sandy beaches Where a truck ain't made to go Watch that trunk of pill freak Scrambler go It's going So Billies, which premiered in I think like August, I mean, it was like July or August, uh, and yeah, they had the first episode. The show is called Squid Billies, which is like the backstory of all the characters and how Rusty was born. Um, and as of right now, I think it's the second longest running Adult Swim. Sh it might be third longest running Adult Swim show after uh, Tim and Eric. Great job, no, right? No, 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 Venture Brothers oh. and um, Robot Chicken. Because Robot Chicken premiered the same year. It premiered in 2005, but it was like in March, maybe. So it's like beat it by a little bit. And then I think Venture Brothers lasted from like 2003 to like last year, maybe, the year before. Yeah. Um, so, but Aqua Teen Hunger Force used to be their big show, and that was 2000 and 2015. So, yeah. That was only 15 years. But Squid Billies is the first and only, as of right now, Adult Swim show to get a 13th season. So, which it's the 13th and final season. It's the only season that doesn't have Unknown Henson because he got cancelled on uh, everything. We're not going to talk about all that, though. He said some stuff. Uh, so they replaced him with Tracy Morgan. To the horn! To the horn! Oh, I nailed that one. I'm Tracy Morgan, and I'm the new voice of Superman. Sorry, Squidbillies. Do not touch the trim! Which I like Tracy Morgan. I don't think he does... I don't think he suits the role very well, but I think it's it's kind of funny how it like contrasts with the old voice having Tracy Morgan, because um, he's like a good he's a funny comedian. He was on like SNL, um, and I like him in that. But I don't he doesn't like suit the role 100. percent But it's not a bad thing. Like it's pretty funny having him like contrast. And the the story they come up with for why. It's him instead of the old guy is funny because it's like oh he's using his like freedom of speech to like talk a different way. Then I'll speak for myself. Whoa, your voice sounds different, Early. I'm exercising my freedom of speech. I'm free to speech however I choose from now until the end of the show. That's right, haters. Get used to it. It's pretty funny. That's clever. It's pretty clever. I like, I like, I really like. They really do a lot with the show. It's like, a lot of people that I talk to online are like, they're like, yeah, it's kind of funny, but it's like, there's no way, like, any of this, yeah, like, it's so over exaggerated with its depiction of, like, hillbillies and Georgians. It's like, no, it's they, not. It's yeah, not at all. It's 100% accurate. It's like tailgating and, like, people just going insane and shooting whatever they want and whenever they want. And like just bullshit and like the cops being complete idiots. It's like it's a hundred percent accurate depiction of of uh, Georgia life in the Appalachian. Um, but it's a really good show. They uh, it was made by uh, Jim Fortier and Dave Willis, and Jim worked on the Brack show was, I think, a spinoff of Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, and then, uh, Dave Willis worked on, he's, like, I think one of the co-creators of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and he did the voice of Meat Wad and Carl, so, and I think, like, one of, like, Ignite Noct or one of those characters, uh, I really like Aqua Teens, though, Aqua Teens is really funny, and, uh, when they, when the show, when they were first gonna premiere the show, Squid Billies, in, like, 2005, on, like, April Fool's Day, they were like, we're gonna premiere this new show, you know, it's gonna be this cool thing, but instead they did a, um, it was, like, a live talk show type thing, where it was Space Ghost hosting, and then it was Meatwad, uh, early from Squidbillies, and, um, this, like, shark, I think, from Brack Show, and they were just, like, 
sitting there, like, just talking, like, about nothing, and it's so dumb, but it's, like, it's really funny. It's called, like, the Adult Swim Brain Trust. It used to be on YouTube, um, but I think it got taken down. Um, but it's on the Squidbillies DVD box set. It's, uh, like, a special feature. Um, I really like that, that special, because it's, like, they were, like, hyping it up, like, oh, it's this new show premiere, and it, it just wasn't. It was just, like, the <laughs> stupid thing. That was, like, that's, like, the, that's, that's, like, the second or third most famous April Fool's thing they ever did, because they always do something funny for April Fool's. I say the most famous is, so Aqua Teen Hunger Force had a movie called Aqua Teen Hunger Force colon movie film for theaters. Yeah. Like literally colon the word, like C-O-L-O-N, <laughs> it was really funny. Um, it's a great movie, it's a really good movie. Yeah. It's, uh, it's basically good. just an episode, but for like 90 minutes. That um, sounds good. And it's one of only like two Cartoon Network movies, there was that and then there was a Powerpuff Girls movie, and that's all they ever did. Um, huh. But... They, uh, they were like, but that movie came out, I think it was April 14th, maybe, and on April 1st, they were like, we're going to show the entire movie uninterrupted on Adult Swim tonight, and then everyone was like, what, no way, and then they show it, and it's like, actually the movie, it's like the first, like, two minutes, maybe, of the movie, and then it, like, starts, like, is the full thing, and it just starts shrinking, and it goes down into the corner, <laughs> and it's just in the corner, completely silent, um, like, God. you can still watch it, but it's like, it's like three pixels, um, of the movie, and then there's no audio, and then it's like, normal Adult Swim, like, Family Guy is playing in the background, and they would have, like, giant bumpers that say, like, it's like, check out the Aqua Teen movie in the lower left corner of your screen, it's like Master Shake, and there's like lightning bolts everywhere, it's like, check it out right now, and it's like, like six pixels on the screen it's you know so funny sometimes i'm thinking about something you said earlier What's about that? how um this is i just feel like this is worth mentioning um you know i think like a lot of times parodies of like i said parodies can be a great form of social commentary and they can give us a lot more of a because sometimes these exaggerated looks at things end up being a lot more realistic than we realize mm -hmm. you know you you if you don't live in something and weren't raised in something like we both were, then it's hard to get across to people just what it's like. You yeah. know, I remember in 2020 when all that all that stuff was happening, all of that stuff was that happening. Stuff, yeah. And I had friends that were just, I called it the Canadian privilege because they're in Canada and their cops don't do that as much. And they're, they had like robust COVID relief funds for people. Mm -hmm. And everybody was chilling, and they had like a really low death toll. I'm told. I don't know if that's true yeah. anymore. And it's like trying to explain to them what was actually happening was just so. They were like, they didn't believe me. Yeah, exactly. And it's like they're like, oh, you're you're just exaggerating because it's really bad, and you're you're like suffering really bad from it. And I was like, no, I'm telling you, this is how it is. And so I think it's in a in a sort of silly way. Even shows like Squidbillies can really help people because they can help them kind of open their eyes to new ways of life. And that goes for any sort of show. Yeah, no, I 100% I agree with that. Like, um, yeah. When COVID, I remember when COVID was happening, There, I have a friend in Australia. And uh, oh, Australia opened yeah. up like two weeks later. They were like, fine. Yeah. Like, they got everything done. Everyone got vaccinated like immediately. And like, you know, yeah. all the all the like bars and shit started opening back New up. Zealand, the New concerts Zealand, yep, and yep, shit. Yep, I exactly. That, yeah. um, and they were like, and I was like, oh, in America, everyone's just stupid and they don't want to get the, uh, they don't want to get the vaccine or they don't, you know, they won't stay in their house or they won't wear a mask because they're just like assholes or they're dumb or whatever, whatever their excuses. And they were like, they like didn't understand. And then I showed them. They watched the South Park specials that they did. Like, they did, like, a vaccination special, and they did, like, a quarantine special. And it, like, explained perfectly what was happening. Not perfectly, because it's, like, you know, it's South Park. They're going to, like, over exaggerate. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, and there's aliens or some shit. Yeah. But they were like, is this real? Is it? I was like, yes. People are just dumb as people hell. They don't know what they're dumb. doing. They're just stupid, and they won't crazy. get vaccinated, motherfucker. <laughs> get your vaccine and get your... 
uh, wear your mask. Mask God up. God damn it. Mask up. Mask up to play 60. <laughs> was, play 60. That was That's fuel, a deep cut. That was fuel up to play 60. That was a milk <laughs> campaign. That's a really, really deep cut. I know exactly what yeah. you're talking about. They used to have that in elementary school. That's I good. think they showed that on Cartoon Network, too. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's where yeah. I heard of it. With the Foster's Home. They, they would have oh, like, yeah. Foster's Home and Camp Laszlo, like, from uh, like side promotions with like yeah. drinking milk. That's funny. That oh was our generation's God. got milk. Yeah, because got milk was a little before our time. Yeah, got milk was like in the nineties. But yeah, I think there's a lot to be said about like parody that I by people more qualified than me about how parody can really help educate people. Yeah. Um, and I think it's just funny because you can get a lot of really good solid information about things from like stupid parody things that parody social commentary mm -hmm. like South Park is a phenomenal example like uh, some of the early stuff is just incredible yeah um, but no Squidbillies is a really great representation of South Georgia and North Georgia like just like country bumpkins people yeah. getting way too excited for like football or for um, that's all right. There is like, it's just if you've ever seen, there's like a T-shirt that I think perfectly describes Squidbillies. Right. And it's that one that says like, it's that one that says like, uh, like white, liberal, you know, straight, Christian. How else can I offend you today? <laughs> it's like that is the perfect way to like sell someone on Squidbillies is to just like show them like that yeah, shirt because that's literally what it's like it's a bunch of like stupid country and it's like you know they're stupid and it's like they die at the end of every episode because they're just like idiots and they like shoot themselves in the head or whatever but it's like it's it's hilarious When I broke jail, the house was burnt down. But Jeff say move the plant back to old Saki. Some days life just doesn't seem that fair. And I don't care. I don't give a damn. Crystal, hotter than a two dollar pistol. I'm fixing to stop loving you today. Crystal, girl, you hear that whistle? It's the sound of the wind blowing through that bullet hole in your skull that I just made. constantly drinking.